hello everyone and i'm back again with another video and for this video since uh, the element cup is actually going so uh, it's kind of a really short and uh, like squishy murder that is the reason this games uh, does not take too much time so that is the reason i'm playing it uh, very often and very much so that's how i can come up with content very often as well so for this video i've got a good team a well balanced rounded team which is going to be abcd abc team in this meta of rock paper scissors so the team that i've got today uh, is kind of strong as well uh, with chinchao in the lead valfix as a safe swap that is running quick attack and with a ball fire and body slam over here so valfix as a safe swap is really good because uh, of the swaminess from uh, like quick attack and body slam can easily uh, be a threat to her types as well uh, so and for the coverage uh, it is really good also and for the uh, closure over here i've got a bulba sort which as i've already mentioned in my previous videos it is also a, such a strong closure because bulba sort uh, as i've already mentioned is really strong in this meta with shield advantage because of the spamminess and uh, the coverage from sludge bomb and seed bomb so that's all for the introduction nothing uh, too much to uh, share over here but let's jump into the battles and check out uh, in the in, check out this team so moving into the first battle and picking up a really great lead against uh, slowpoke over here this is turning confusion to which now since uh, i'm knowing the count of slowpoke so it's the first uh, takes four confusion and the next one takes uh, three confusion to reach to the psy shock to which now i thought uh, for going a cap tie which chincha will obviously win so i'll be going for the bait over here of uh, power beam which indeed gets the first shield from my opponent's end and now from this kind of range i'll be going for one more uh, beat once again and let's see if i can get the final shield from my opponent's end or not they let it go which is not a great scenario for for, for me and now but since uh, confusion is kind of a really long term long term move like uh, long duration move so i could easily get the founder and they comes back with their own courtney over here so for courtney i'll be going for the bubble beam over here which is not a great thing because i should have went for the uh, thunderbolt which hits so hard as neutral as neutral damage to which now they comes back with their own uh like i come back with my own wolfix to which they comes back with their own chinchao because and for chinchao i do have perfect answer to it which is going to be my bulbasaur over here and they wait for the straight <laughs> bubble being knowing that it does not have any play and they concede the match over here so really good game moving into the next battle once again i pick up a lead of slow poke so uh so this is kind of a really uh, like luck dependent and kind of a uh, like uh block to a thing so if you are lucky you will get a hard lead loss or a hard lead win over here so uh I try out this team in three sets, uh, but I went positive with uh, positive it with it in all the three sets. So I went four one, three two, and four one in all the three set, and it was kind of good uh, as well. So I had some hard lead losses, which in this video also you will get to know. But uh, apart from it, uh, because of its coverage and uh, spamminess from Bulbasaur's and Vulpix's move set, it is kind of. Uh, good with this team and basically ducklet answer is my chincha over here so that is the reason i'm using chincha and a ducklet in this uh in this scenario so uh jumping back into the battles i uh i have a i have a matchup of vulpix along with chincha to which now uh i come back with my own uh, with my vulpix over here to which now i'll be going for the uh next uh body slam over here to which i think this is going to be uh neutral damage which does hit for quite a bit of damage as well and uh, they they only should have thrown for go like going for bubble beams over here so i can easily tank one or multiple bubble beams from this kind of range and vulpix is kind of uh bulky as well to which now i don't want them to farm me down so that is the reason i'll be coming back with my own uh own bulbas are over here and i go for the seed bomb which potentially was going to be a cmp tie and let's see but they let it go over here uh because they don't have any option to which now they comes back with their own vulpix once again and as i've already mentioned Bulbasaur is such a strong closer with a shield advantage as you guys will see now so i'll be going for the sludge bomb that hits so hard and gets the win for the second battle here for me also Moving into the third battle, I pick up a lead against Razor Leaf Badu, and I see swapped into my own uh, 
Vulpix over here and this wave strap they, they, they immediately countered me with uh, their water gun hooper which is not a great thing so hooper uh, would be running my shot along with a mud bomb and body slam but uh, I'm totally getting hard counters so this game is uh, kind of wrapped up because yeah I I have a hard lead loss and I am uh, like hard wrecked in the back line as well to which now I have to come back with my own Bulbasaur to get the farm down but they can easily align their Cyndaquil over here with my own Bulbasaur over here which is uh, looking to be a great game and I think I will be considering the match because I can easily see my writings on the wall that yeah but uh, I don't consider the match so I come back so uh, kind of uh, kind of awkward for me to not concede the match but still uh, this is going to be wrapped up and now let's see if I can I do have some win potential over here because if I can get the farm down with this uh, with this uh, spark damage onto the Cyndaquil uh, I can have a kind of uh, win, win condition but I don't seem so because we do get the simultaneous knockout over here and I concede the match uh, so GG's to my opponent, really well played. Moving into the next battle, I pick up a good lead yet again with a Tentacool over here that is running Poison Sting. And for Tentacool, uh, I think it is having access to a normal type move, uh, which is, uh, yeah, it's it's Wrap and uh, apart from the apart from it, it is going to be Aquatil. So Aquatil is double resisted, whether uh, Wrap is such a crappy move uh, but still it does so much in this neutral meta as well to which now i'll be going uh, to let the next charge move go through because i will survive it and let's see yeah i can survive the rap and i'll be going for the thunderbolt this time and let's see what my opponent does decide to do and since these poison stings are registered as well so uh, and debuffed so i'll be going for the next bubble beam which will get the knockout for this winter cool and let's see what they comes back with so they comes back with their own i believe a uh, bulbasaur and i can go for the bubble beam that should uh, get a bit of chip damage and now i can align my own vulpix over here but uh, i am I'm, I'm not happy because yeah they have a target into their back line so it's going to be really tricky right now to which now i'll be going for the neutral body slam over here because i don't want to uh, come in that matchup with my bulbasaur uh, with uh, without any advantage to which now i'll be letting this charge move go through because i want to preserve my shield for my bulbasaur over here which now will be coming back into this matchup to which now i'll be going for the uh, seed bomb over here from this kind of range uh, and letting the charge move. I believe I'm letting the charge move go through as well because it's just going to a bubble beam as I'm counting the moves and I'll be going for the next seed bomb over here. So seed bomb from this kind of range is going to uh, get the final shield and the knockout from the ducklet here as well and this is going to be a really great game uh, from my opponent's end because now from this kind of range uh, I can easily get it, get the knockout for this ducklet and I have got a, a Vulpix matched up onto this Bulbasaur with double shield advantage and my opponent does know it and concedes the match over here. Moving into the next matchup which is going to be I believe the final battle of the video and the set I pick up a lead of Slowpoke over here so uh, people are actually running too many Slowpokes in this meta which was not prevalent uh, which was not pretty prevalent earlier but now it is very much uh, up in the meta to which now i go for the bubble beam shield beat which they call perfectly which is not a good sign uh, for me because i have to shield up this side shock even though resisted uh, even though neutral and debuffed it will do so much damage to get the knockout to which now they comes back with their courtney over here which is really surprising because uh I'll be going for the bubble beam to lower the attack and bigger button is not a courtney it's actually going to be uh, execute over here that is running confusion so uh, this is kind of a similar team that I have featured on my channel as well but uh, I was actually running a double uh, shadow over here with execute and slow poke to which now I'll be letting the uh, let I'll be shielding up the next charge move because it have got access to uh, ancient power which does hit for super effective but i can get the hard farm down so if now i have got uh, two shields down but i've got an energy lead over here to which now i'll be going for the first body slam over here 
to which they uh, go for the first shield from their end and now uh, they can easily could have got the farm down over here to which now I, will, I, I don't have any option to shield up because I have already invested in both of my shields and now I'll be coming back with my own Bulbasaur to get a hard farm but I'll be taking so much damage that's the reason I come back with my own uh, with my own uh, Chinchao and get a energy lead and uh, I I shield I, I I have a energy I have a move banked up on my own Chinchao as well to which now uh, they goes for the seed bomb which is double resisted right now so if I can manage to get the shield with a seed bomb over here because I'm one charge move away to get uh, to the next uh, sludge bomb over here so if I get the shield which I took over here and now I'll be going for the sludge bomb which is double super effective and that is going to be a really great game and a close game from my end and GG's to my opponent really well played so this team uh, worked out uh, good for me because as I've already mentioned in, the, in all the three sets I went positive so apart from the meta being a uh, rock paper scissor uh, it is good also so that was, uh, that was all for this video and see you again in the next one till then peace